Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. Today we're going to be taking a question from one of our viewers, Steve. I'm not going to do his last name uh, just for his anonymity. Anyway, um, Steve asked me if, if uh, what, the, what I preferred, uh, whether I prefer concussion or compression because he had watched uh, my compression video and saw how to attack the body um, that way. Now, I like them both, okay? You have to work on your ranges, okay? If you're at um, the, the initial stage of a, um, uh, opposition, for example, or a fight, what's gonna happen is your concussives are the only thing that you're going to be able to have. It's when you get the hands on the person that the compressives become more important. Yes, you can grab the person and still slug them, but as you get closer or you as you get bound up or you're on the ground fighting, for example, your ballistics are somewhat limited from the distancing, from the timing, from the, um, the ability to get velocity up enough to um, damage or incapacitate your opponent. So we need to learn a compressive skill. Now these go on Q-show targets, not pressure points, Q-show targets, and mainly on the vascular tissue. Now you can do nerves and they cause pain and dysfunction, but what you want to do is you want to cause an unconsciousness as well, because if you just cause pain and dysfunction, as you um, disengage from this opponent and they regain that, the, the battle is on again. So to put a little bit more timing into their incapacitation, that's where you want to go to altered levels of consciousness. And I prefer attacking the blood on that with a compressive um, idea. Now, in the background, you're going to be seeing some knockouts. Um, this is a compression technique. This is uh, utilizing uh, one area just behind the ear. Um, you see it being filmed for a, uh, a magazine called Katana down in Mexico. During one of my seminars, they came in and they wanted to understand a little bit more about the dynamics of Kyusho and how to enact them in um, ground fighting because, of course, MMA is big, even in other countries other than the U.S. where they're, they're basically held. So they wanted to understand how it could be utilized on the ground. And without going into um, the concussions, we went into the compressions instead. So um, this is a little bit of a recap on that. You see it in three different um, seminar settings and one uh, uh, actual um, uh, videotape uh, instructing on how to do the compressions. There's an excerpt from there as well. So understand the Q-Show covers many different fighting ranges, fighting styles, abilities, needs. Um, it's the invaluable aspect of all martial arts. Now, you can get away with not learning Kyusho. However, it increases your efficiency, it increases your effectability on the opponent, and it increases your potential. It gives you that much more. So if you're in a more modern um, fighting style, like an MMA-based um, curriculum, uh, Krav Maga, self-defense, you don't need that heavy concussion. Now it's all well and good and that works great too and I'm not dismissing that at all. What I'm saying is by understanding Q-Show, by learning Q-Show, real Q-Show, not pressure points, but real anatomical structures and how to work with them, you're going to increase your capacity, your potential, and your skill to a much higher degree. Thank you.